how to fit a toilet. Here we'll show you how to fit a closed coupled toilet whereby the cistern sits on top of the pan. Many other toilet designs are available, but bear in mind that they may have different fitting requirements, so be sure to always check the manufacturer's instructions. If you're replacing an existing toilet, as we are, then it's a reasonably straightforward job. However, if the plumbing needs rerouting, then it's best to call in a qualified plumber. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. Thorough preparation is key to achieving a professional finish, so see our online guide or leaflet for advice on planning and preparation and aftercare. Before dismantling the old toilet, turn off the water at the mains by locating the stopcock and turning it clockwise. Then flush the toilet to empty the cistern of water. Use a cup, sponge or towel to remove as much water as possible from the toilet bowl and cistern. It's best to have a bucket to hand to collect the water. Disconnect the water supply to the toilet with an adjustable wrench and self-grip pliers. Then remove the screws from the base of the toilet and from inside the cistern if it's attached to the wall. Gently detach the old toilet from the waste pipe. You can push a cloth into the pipe to help stop smelly gases spreading. Once it's loose, remove the toilet and clean the surrounding floor with a bathroom cleaner. To install the new toilet, start by assembling and fitting the flush mechanism and the inner parts of the cistern, being sure to carefully follow the manufacturer's instructions as mechanisms do vary between designs. When securing the fixings, take care not to over tighten and finish tightening by hand if need be. Attach the closed coupled washer to the top of the pan. Then, carefully lift the cistern into position, making sure that the flush mechanism thread fits into the washer and that the bolts sit comfortably through the holes in the pan. Secure the cistern to the pan by hand tightening the supplied washers and wing nuts onto the bolts. Then insert the pan connector, making sure the fit is snug. Carefully slide the pan into position aligning the waste pipe to the pan connector. Then attach them, making sure the pan goes right into the connector collar. You may find that a flexible pan connector is easier to fit, especially in confined spaces. Check the pan is level and make small adjustments with packers if necessary. Then, check the cistern is level. If it has fixing holes in the back, mark their position onto the wall. Now, mark the outline of the toilet pan and its fixing holes onto the floor. Slide the toilet out, then use a cable and pipe detector to make sure all the fixing points are clear of any obstructions. Drill your pilot holes, then use a 10mm drill bit to finish them. If you're fitting a toilet to a concrete floor, you'll need to use a masonry drill bit and wall plugs. If you're drilling through tiles, Apply some masking tape to the tile to stop the drill bit from slipping. Put the toilet back into position and secure the pan to the floor brackets with the provided fixings, being sure to follow manufacturer's instructions and taking care not to over tighten. If your cistern has fixing points, insert appropriate wall plugs or fixings and secure the cistern to the wall with suitable screws. If it doesn't have fixing points, secure with silicon sealant or adhesive. Now that the toilet is secured, apply some silicon sealant around the base. Using some PTFE tape, reconnect the cold water supply. Depending on the position of the inlet on the new cistern, it might help if you use a flexible connector, ideally one with a small isolation valve. Turn the water on and carefully check for any sign of leaks along the pipes and seals. If your stopcock isn't situated near the bathroom, then it's best to have a friend turn the supply back on whilst you watch for leaks. Finish fitting the flush mechanism as per the instructions and then secure the cistern lid before testing the flush. Fit the hinges to the toilet seat and then attach it to the pan using the fixings provided. Finally, Apply some more silicon to the base of the toilet, smoothing it down with a damp sponge for a clean finish. 
Here is the list of tools you'll need to install your toilet. And here are the materials you'll use. And this is the recommended safety equipment needed. 